Human brains are wired in such a way that we crave normalcy, especially with how things can look. So if something strikes us as visually different in any way, it's just so easy for us to tag that difference as an abnormality. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most abnormal animals in the world. Watch out for number one, it's the stuff of nightmares. Number 10. The Red-Lipped Batfish. The red-lipped batfish is a deep water fish usually found near the Galapagos Islands, and its defining and admittedly abnormal attribute is its mouth. Big for its body and usually grows to about 25 centimeters, the red-lipped batfish's lips look like a pair of Twizzlers melting in the sun. Although the reason for the fish's striking pout is unclear, some scientists think it's used to attract a mate. Look how the tip of its pink tongue sticks out of its mouth, and imagine how sensual that might be if you were a fish. Although it lives in deep water, this fish is not a good swimmer. The batfish's body is built like an airplane, or a bat which probably gives it its name. It has both pectoral and pelvic fins, which it uses to scurry clumsily along the ocean floor, and a small fleshy anal fin underneath its tail like a propeller. The underside of its body is covered in bony scales, and its tail is glazed with little thorns. And that thing in the middle of its face that looks like male genitalia is actually a horn covered in little hairs called an elysium. It is a retractable appendage common for other deep water fish like the anglerfish that the fish uses like a lure to attract prey. Number 9. Umbania spinosa. This uncommon creature has an official name that sounds like one of Harry Potter's spells, but it is sometimes called a tree hopper or thorn bug. This delightfully strange bug has scientists rather baffled as there hasn't been a ton of intense research on them. Though they do believe it to be closely related to the cicada. Though other thorn bugs have a shape that looks like, well, thorns, this one seems to be sporting a strange helmet that appears to be more of a fashion statement than a good camouflage. Like other bugs, they use their sharp mouth parts to pierce plants and stems and suck the sap inside. Because of their unusually sweet diet, like aphids, they produce a sugary excrement which ants really love called honeydew. Because of this relationship, the ants become very protective of their tree hoppers, and if you try to take one away from them, they're gonna attack you. They're sort of like treehopper bodyguards, only with an awkward habit of eating their employer's poop. Number 8. The Hummingbird Hawk Moth Talk about someone having an identity crisis. The Hummingbird Hawk Moth is an insect that looks and behaves so much like a hummingbird that they are difficult to tell apart from a distance. Not only does the moth flit about like a hummingbird, it even appears to have feathers and a tail which are actually elongated hairs. Like its namesake, the hummingbird hawk moth hovers in front of flowers collecting sweet nectar from within. In place of a beak, it has a long straw-like proboscis that is used to siphon off the sticky fluid. At roughly an inch long, this proboscis is nearly the length of the moth's body, so it keeps the appendage coiled up tightly when not in use. Believe it or not, scientists have coined a term to describe animals evolving to look like other species totally unrelated to theirs. It's called a convergent evolution that can be seen in the similar body shape of fish and dolphins. Some other examples include the sharp spines of hedgehogs and porcupines and the opposable thumbs shared by possums and primates. Number 7. The Blue Dragon When most people think of slugs, they probably think of the ugly yellow and green blobs that plague their gardening patch. Ugh. Well, these crawly creatures are not exactly the most graceful or captivating creatures, but then there's the Blue Dragon Sea Slug. Though they look like the left-behind offspring of some alien creatures, these bizarre creatures are 100% Earthbred. They're actually not all that different from your average garden snail. Just a lot more colorful, but often quite poisonous so. Just look, but don't touch. When fully extended, it looks like an alien dragon flying through the water on their colorful tendrils known as serrata. Blue dragons are known to go after much larger creatures, including the notoriously lethal Portuguese Man of War. Not only is the blue dragon immune to its sting, it's able to process the Man of War's nematocysts, the cells that allow for that creature's deadly sting and store them in its own extremities. Number 6. The Paku Fish Have you ever seen a fish with human teeth? Well, I have in a previous list, and this strange looking creature is from the Amazon, and oh, it's horrifying to look at. Pakus are a large family of freshwater fish related to the piranha. However, while some species of Paku do look like piranhas, they are actually herbivores and extremely peaceful species of fish. One of the primary differences between the two is that the piranha's teeth are triangular and razor sharp, and the Paku's teeth are more square-shaped and human-like. And just as terrifying, honestly. 
These fish can make for some amazing pets. In fact, pakus are also known to develop personalities as they grow older and can sometimes recognize their owners. Their fascinating behaviors make them a popular choice among aquaria enthusiasts. But don't think you can just rush off to any pet store and buy one of these guys. They can get so big they tend to become a handful. An adult paku can be over 30 inches long and will need to be kept in a pond or an enormous tank. Number 5. The Indian Purple Frog These uniquely purple frogs live in the western ghats of southern India. While the distribution is very limited, this is not the only reason why it took scientists so long to discover them. These frogs spend the majority of their lives underground, only to surface two weeks every year for mating purposes. They don't even need to come up for food, they're able to live on a diet of the food that exists underground, which is mainly termites. These frogs also look as strange as they sound. They always seem like they're bloated, or look like they've had a little too much to eat. They have a very small head in comparison to their body, and have a white snout that sticks out from their face, and as I'm sure you can guess, they have smooth, deep purple skin. Already in danger due to habitat loss, these guys now also face a different kind of danger. They're being eaten to extinction. It's considered a delicacy in its native country of India and is being hunted and consumed at an alarming rate. Eating the purple frogs, or more accurately, its tadpoles have been a practice in the area for the past 100 years. Number 4. The Shoebill Dubbed the ugliest bird in the world, the shoebill certainly has what it takes to make it to this list. It looks like a cross between a dinosaur and a bird, and with good reason. Scientists are constantly discovering links between dinosaurs and birds, and the way this bird looks certainly proves that. Shoebills, however, are an ancient species that were quite revered during the ancient times. They're ever-present in ancient Egyptian artwork, and ancient Arabs also showed respect for the bird by calling it Abu Markub, which literally translates to father of a slipper. Oh, that is supposed to be a term of reverence escapes me at the moment, but one thing is for sure. Shoebills have always been, and will always be, named after some kind of footwear. Also, they look terrifying, they look like they're ready to kill you. To accompany those terrifying looks, shoebills are quite adept hunters. They hunt like total bosses of the swamp. The shoebill will stand there motionless as a statue and wait for some poor lungfish or baby crocodile to swim by. Oh, and uh, yeah, these, these things eat crocodiles, so let, let, that, let that mental image slip in. And then the bird pounces forward. All five feet of it, with its massive bill wide open engulfing its target along with water, mud, vegetation, and probably any other hapless fish minding their own dang business. It clamps down on its prey and the bird will start to swing its massive head back and forth, tipping out whatever stuff it doesn't want to eat. When there's nothing but lungfish or crocodile left, the shoe bill will give it a quick decapitation with the sharp edges of the bill and swallow away. Nature's metal. Number 3. The Panda Ant And yet another animal with an identity crisis. Panda ants share the same colors and markings as their namesake, the panda, and although they do look cute, they can sting you as painfully as any ant out there. Technically not an ant but a wasp, its colors and patterns are aposematic, warning other predators to stay away. Only the female is wingless, and despite sometimes being referred to as the cow killer ant, its sting isn't the deadliest or painful. This all belongs to a type of harvester ant that can kill a two-pound mammal with just six stings. These wasps, which can be found in Chile and Argentina, are solitary, do not live in colonies or have nests, and are not aggressive. However, the panda ant is parasitic and lays its eggs on or near other ground-nesting insects, larvae, or pupa. The hatch young then use the larvae as a food source. God, nature is just metal. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's best pick has been sent over by a subscriber, so if you come across something on the internet that you would like us to look into, just send them on over to us and we'll gladly do all the legwork for you. And who knows, we might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. The Seven-Headed Cobra The submitted photo you're about to see I've been doing rounds on the internet since 2012. Its location varies from India to Honduras depending on the post. The photo features a crowd of people ogling at and taking photos of a snake that's on the side of the road. The thing is, it's no ordinary snake, because this one has seven heads. Polycephaly, or the phenomenon of having two or more heads, is very real. In fact, creatures with multiple heads have been featured on traveling circuses and freak shows since their inception. 
Animals with polycephaly often have two heads, sometimes even three, but no more than that. So can this cobra with seven heads even be possible? Well, there are a number of reasons that point out that this photo is indeed a fake. Well, for one, animals born with multiple heads rarely reach adulthood, having many birth defects being in born along with their multiple heads. The snake in the photo clearly shows an adult specimen, and secondly and more definitively, if such a specimen was really spotted and with that many eyewitnesses to it, how come only one photo surfaced? The eyewitnesses clearly had cameras in their hands, so why only one angle? To put the final nail in the coffin, the original photo has since surfaced, which you can see here. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Goblin Shark First described in 1898, the Goblin Shark had already been known to Japanese fishermen who called it Tengu Zami. Tengu being a mythical goblin with an extremely long nose that looked a bit like Pinocchio, but well, in goblin form. The shark, which grows up to 12.5 feet long, swims at depths of over 4,000 feet and remains poorly understood. Though with each new specimen, we're building a better picture of its incredible adaptations to the deep sea lifestyle. Its most prominent feature, making it look abnormal to us normal human beings, are its highly protrusive jaws packed with needle-like teeth meant to trap and not slice. Sharks are able to protect their mouths in this manner because the jaw is suspended by ligaments and cartilage instead of being fused to the skull. And the goblin shark takes us to the extreme with a jaw that pretty much looks like it's trying to escape from the animal's face. Almost everything about the goblin shark reflects the harshness of the dark underworld it calls home. With nutrients so hard to come by in the deep sea, energy savings have meant cutbacks in the beauty department and that's… that's kinda obvious actually. Which a normal animal are you most fascinated about? Let us know in the comments section down below. Wanna watch more videos about everything amazing? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.